Hello, hello, this is Father Adam greeting you with some good news that I know you can use to perk you up with a big smile, lots of love, and a big kiss. I will never forget visiting inmates at Pelican Bay Maximum Security State Prison, especially the inmates housed in the SHU, the security housing units, where inmates were locked up 23 hours a day in total isolation, only let out for one hour to exercise. And it's no wonder in this pure torture that these often very young men would spend their days thinking of ways to kill themselves. And one day coming in contact with a very suicidal young man, he looks at me and he says, Father Adam, why would I want to live? Everyone has given up on me. Nobody loves me. I've got nobody, he says. My own mother doesn't even write to me anymore. She hasn't visited me in a very long time. I've got nobody. I looked at him and I told him what I want to tell you today. I looked at him, this young man that continued to write to me for a very long time. Look, here is uh, one of the letters, and but I have a box full of letters. And I looked at him and I told him what I want to tell you. I said, it's not true that everyone has given up on you. I haven't given up on you. I'm here. And I will never give up on you. I love you. And I'm here to prove it, I said. He looked at me and he said, will you continue to visit me? And I said, of course I will. I'm here for you. And then I did something that I wasn't supposed to do. I put my hand through the bars and he grabbed my hand and he squeezed it and I squeezed his and he began to cry. And he says to me, Father Adam, nobody has touched me in four years. You know, love is the best medicine. That's the real poverty out there. We have a poverty of love. We are needy and hungry for love. Maybe you feel like that in your life, that you've got nobody. that there's nobody out there for you, that everybody's given up on you. God hasn't given up on you, and you know how I know that? Because I haven't given up on you. That's why I'm coming to you right now with a big hello, hello, and a big kiss, and lots of love to perk you up, to let you know everything is going to be okay. You know, he then began to draw pictures for me. Look, this is one of the pictures that he drew me. He's very talented. He drew me lots and lots of pictures. You can see here, okay, the stamp of his unit. Okay, there, Pelican Bay Security Housing Unit. Because when they would send me things, they, uh, everything was inspected. I have a box full of letters. Lots and lots of letters. Okay, here's one. There's another one. Okay, anyway. Uh, and we became very close. You know, the prison psychiatrist, Dr. Diane Tomar, whom I became very close friends with as well. In fact, I baptized her and she came into the Catholic church that I was pastoring at the time. We became very close friends. She said to me, Father Adam, 
You are their best medicine. You are the best psychotropic drug these prisoners could ever get. And I looked at her and I said, what do you mean? And she says to me, Dr. Diane Tomar said to me, she was the psychiatrist at the prison. She said, you inject the inmates with love. And that's what I want to inject you with. Lots and lots of love. Mwah. To lift you up. Because the good news is news. And the good news is someone. It's Jesus. And Jesus is not something, but someone. And he is present in us. In me, I am his body. He's got no body other than mine and no smile other than mine and no kiss other than mine and no hello, hello other than mine. And that's what I do as best as I can every day. I try to inject you with love, lots of love. That's what being born again means. Jesus says, unless you are born again, you will not have life within you. I want you to be born again through love and the Spirit. And it's not an, a one-time event. It's an ongoing event. It's an ongoing process because we continue to fall all the time. And when you fall, you need to be picked up. You need a Father Adam to pick you up, to say everything is going to be okay. God is with you, and I know it because I'm with you. The Bible says, even though a mother is capable of forgetting her own child, I will never forget you, says the Lord. And that's what I try to let you know, that you are not forgotten. You are not alone. You are loved. You are cherished. You have a dignity. Every single person is loved. The prisoner, the child, everybody is loved. And I know that because I love everybody, everybody, every single person, you know, to be picked up again. That's love finding you. That young man in that shoe cell, this security housing unit cell at Pelican Bay, who continued to draw for me, was found by love through me. And I hope that you continue to find those in your life through your love. You know, love finds you when you lose your job and someone extends their hand and there you get found. That's love finding you. When you lose your husband after a very long time and then you meet someone online, that's love finding you. That's God finding you. That's being born again, being found. When you feel down and you can't go on and someone comes and picks you up and offers you unconditional acceptance. That's being born again. That's what I offer to you. As I offered to all the inmates I visited at Pelican Bay State Prison. Let this be the moment now. I know Maybe you find yourself down saying the same thing that that young man said. I've got nobody. Everyone has given up on me. No, not everyone. Father Adam hasn't given up on you. And if Father Adam hasn't given up on you, God hasn't given up on you. Maybe you're feeling down and you can't go on. What prison cell do you find yourself in? Huh? Let me be the vehicle today, the way, the Holy Spirit to come upon you right now, unless you are born again of the Holy Spirit. Let it flow to come upon you right now to let you know someone has got you. Someone is for you. And if God is for me, who can be against me? And I'm here for you. See? And if I'm here for you, God is here for you. You are not alone. You will make it. 
Everything is going to be okay. You will be okay. Let my words come to you today to let you know what I allowed that young man to feel through me. That everything will be fine. He needed to hear that someone hasn't given up on him. And as I told him, let me tell you, someone, Father Adam, and that means Jesus as well, because I represent Jesus, hasn't given up on you. And I will never give up on you. Hello, hello. As I bless you today and always in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mwah.